<laughs> so we have all these heroes and heroines, you know, all our children who are our, you know, everyday heroes and heroines also come here to join us in this prayer. Today's prayer is indeed very, very special because it's going to be a combination of all the people who are part of the community at Parikrama. Students, teachers, parents, as well as the CEO. Will you all please join me? You know, uh, wherever you're seated, children, I know that all of you have logged in from your respective schools and uh, parents are all logged in from their homes. We request you to please put your palms together to join us in the school prayer by Rabindranath Tagore. Where the mind is without fear, and the head is high, where the knowledge is free, where the words come out being broken up into fragments and narrow the mercy words, where words come out from the depth of truth, where time is striving stretches its arms towards perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way. Into the very desert sand of dead habit, where the mind is led forward by deep into ever widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country away. Into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country away. Good morning, and us. Good morning, children, on behalf of all the Akkas and Annas and your friends watching you, right? Now, may I request Shukla Akka, a very dynamic founder CEO, to please welcome the gathering. Why don't let's move away a little from the stage, okay? Okay, good morning, everyone. Good, good morning. morning. My, my children here. Good morning, uh, my children upstairs. Good morning, my children in each of the schools that are, and many of my children who are uh, watching this occasion virtually. Uh, I want to wish you all a very, very happy Independence Day. Um, you know, we have uh, got the independence 75 years ago, and uh, we have tried to manage and keep our country together in a democratic fashion the last 75 years. Now, what does that mean? It means that every single citizen in our country <coughs> is important to, to us, irrespective of where they come from, what religion they have, and what gender they are born in. So all these children have equal people have equal rights to every opportunity and advantage that the country has to offer but the truth is every single person across the country has not got access to all opportunities that we have and that is the reason why parikrama was started <coughs> 20 years ago. It's not as old as 75, but 20 is a long enough number. And we have managed to fulfill our promise to ourselves of giving equal quality education to all our children across the city and hopefully have an impact across the country. The reason why we did that is because how can you have kids like this not going to college, not having a good job? How can we as a country call ourselves developed country if every single person does not get an opportunity <coughs> if they deserve? And Parikrama has been striving tirelessly the last 19 years to provide this opportunity to everyone. But what I want to tell children across that are watching uh, some of 
them physically and most of them virtually is look we my parents my grandparents have done the best they could to keep the country together for you now i want to see what y'all will do with the country the next 75 years next 75 years is going to be very very crucial for all of us because we are now living in a very very competitive global world and we need to keep our heads high be absolutely confident and with no no iota in inferiority because what 300 or more years of british rule did to us was made us feel in some ways inferior but we have taken great strides to overcome this sense of inferiority and we are proving to the world that we are equal if not better and therefore we have we have brought this country to a stage where it's poised for more growth so children i am going to ask you this question what will you do to uphold the pride of this nation okay what will you do to bring in more respect more sense of responsibility to ensure that our country actually stands apart not only with modern progress but with ancient wisdom which we have been so proud of in the past we need to go back to history we need to learn from all the mistakes we have made the world has made and ensure that we don't repeat it we need to look at the future to see how we are best geared and prepared to combat all the challenges that are coming we know we have faced great challenges the last 2 years of pandemic has taught us many lessons and we must not forget the lessons we have learned and ensure that we make we are prepared for any kind of emergencies in the past in our country what we need to pay attention to is good quality education we need to pay attention to access of good quality healthcare and we need to pay attention of holding our secular image not only within the country but also outside so think about it children write about what you want to do the next 75 years and we will work towards getting and preparing an even better nation So all the best to all of you uh, children and our guests and I know that we have some guests logged in from uh, outside the country and I uh, am I'm so so happy that we have Simon Turner uh, from UK we have Kumar uh, Bhaiya from Singapore we have Kritika Murthy uh and sujata that have also uh, logged in so uh this is the way to celebrate independence day or any any occasion together irrespective of geographical boundaries irrespective of what language we speak and irrespective of what religion we practice because all of us uh are together in our humanity thank you very much thank you very much for joining in and let's have a great 75th birthday of our nation thank you
Now I invite our friend Kumar Daya from Singapore to speak up some words. Thank you, Tasmia. Also, one interesting fact is that we have almost, uh, I think, more than around 1,500 people who are logged in right now. Uh, most of them are in our schools, sitting in their classrooms. So we have almost all the students. We've got alumni, we've got parents, and we've got guests from across the borders. That goes to say, we celebrate free spirit every time. So over to you, Kumar Anna. Thank you so much. Just a raise of hand if you can hear me clearly. Excellent. Thank you so much. So, so excellent. Thank you for that. Um, so namaste, uh, everyone. My name is Kumar Bhaya, and I'm a proud Indian. I am dining in from Singapore. Um, I was born and brought up in Mumbai. And while I might be living in Singapore, being close to India, I travel very often. And my heart is still very much in India, as they say in the song, Fir bhi dil hai Hindustani, right? So thank you for inviting me uh, to be part of the, this special event to celebrate 75 years of India's independence. It's a very, very special event uh, and happy birthday, India. Um, so I have been very, very fortunate, very privileged um, to have been associated with Parikrama for many years now, almost 10 years. Thank you to uh, Shukla Ji. Me and my batch of um, um, you know, students from uh, a ma uh, management school called NMIMS have been associated with uh, Parikrama uh, and uh, and part of this journey. So we've been very, very fortunate. Thank you so much for that. Um, I just wanted to say a few things on today's occasion. And I was looking at the invitation card and I saw the spirit of freedom being celebrated, the free spirit of India being celebrated. So I wanted to just share a few thoughts on freedom. Uh, as Shukla Ji has so beautifully um, set the stage in terms of freedom, you know, has, you know, it's taken a lot of blood, sweat and tears from a lot of people to achieve that. But how do we maintain that? How do we keep ourselves free is a different matter. Uh, and it requires a lot of emphasis, a lot of focus and a lot of effort from each and every one of us. So I want to talk about a different aspect of freedom. So we may be free as a country today. But what about freedom from other aspects that sometimes hold us back? Freedom from our thoughts, freedom from wrong thinking, for example. You know, let me just give you a very quick story. So there was this teacher that, you know, asked all the students in the class to fill a big, big pot with milk. And each one of the students was asked to get one small cup of milk and put it in the pot. So all the kids excited and everything else. And on the day that they were supposed to bring the milk, everybody was like, one person said, you know, everybody else will put the milk. So it's okay. I don't, I don't need to put the milk. I'll just put water. And then another student felt the same way that, hey, you know what? I've forgotten to bring my milk, but it doesn't matter. I'll just put water and so on and so forth. So at the end of the assignment, when the teacher went to see the big pot, what did she inside, see inside the pot? She saw only water. Everybody thought the same way. Nobody had brought milk. So this is wrong thinking. So often sometimes we say, oh, you know, it's okay. Chalta hai. Somebody else will do it. Why? It doesn't matter if one person doesn't do it. But that's the wrong thinking. And that's what we need to be free of, freedom from wrong thinking. We need to be free, free of complaining and finding fault. So often we see somebody spitting on the street, throwing a banana peel, littering across the street. What do we do? We feel angry. We, we complain and we say, that's so bad. How can you do it, etc., etc. But we forget sometimes when we do the same things, when we might be spitting or throwing something or whatever, then chalta hai, I do it. Right. So we have to be free in terms of finding fault and complaining It's very easy to do that, but it's harder to find fault with ourselves and correct ourselves. And so that's why we have to always focus on right freedom from, you know, complaining and finding fault, freedom to explore your full potential. You know, you have such a brilliant opportunity to do this at Parikrama, you know, but for that, you need to try out different experiences and you need to get out of your comfort zone. You know, if you've done the same things, you'll get the same results. But if you want different results, you have to try and do something different. So you all are free to make a positive impact, you know, in your own families, your communities, your societies, our nation, our world really depends on each one of us doing the right thing. And Parikrama provides that fantastic platform. So, you know, as Shukla Ji has mentioned, to realize your potential, you must come forward and do your bit. You support the system. The, support, the system will support you and others as well. As many of you may have you know, seen this and read this of what Gandhiji, Bapu had said, 
that change you be the change that you want to see in the world so let's not ask for others to change their ways and others to fix them fix themselves let's work on ourselves and become better versions of ourselves we change the world will change so with that i just wanted to thank you all once again for having me here today joining you all on this really special occasion i wish you all the very best happy birthday india vande mataram and jai hind thank you kumarana thank you kumarana for the very kind words and uh, we have many more things in store for you but before we start i'd like to acknowledge and uh, thank these fallen people for their uh, presence over here today bhaskar jaramanana from uh, hyderabad welcome bhaskarana and our very own richard all the way from scotland right now welcome Yeah, yes, that's me. You had a question that you were asking me there. What is it? Akka, I want to ask other students, what does expression and right to speak mean to you? What do you think? Yeah. What What are you allowed to do in Parikrama? What are the different kinds of things that you have? Art, music, dance, drama. Mm hmm. We have drama, public speaking, debating, and other things. Or this is what right to speak means to me in parikrama parikrama has given us the freedom and opportunity to speak up our ideas excellent you know uh, something that comes to my mind uh, uh, that's we have discussed this also right uh, does the right to uh, speak or you know right to expression give you the freedom to say whatever you want no with our responsibility we need to have some responsibility and our boundaries to speak up excellent uh, but it also means that we think logically everything that you know that is said in history may not always be correct okay because it's always the uh, victor's point of view that we get to read later on but it is for us to analyze and to also understand that there were many people who contributed expressed their ideas in spite of all the you know the impositions that they had on them and what such you know instance was of sarthi bai phule and we have our students from parikrama junior college presenting this wonderful skit to you go get education be self reliant be industrious work gather wisdom and riches all gets lost without knowledge we become animals without wisdom sit idle no more go get education end the misery of the oppressed and forsaken you have got a golden chance to learn so learn and break the chain of caste throw away the brahmin scriptures fast A time when our India looked quite different. 1831 in Satara, present-day Maharashtra, a little baby girl was born to Lakshmi and Khandu Tripathi. They named her Savitri. Savitri was a bright and active child, full of curiosity. Yet she never got a chance to see the inside of a school. For there were two giant bears that kept girls like her. from getting an education first she had a parents belong to the mali or mughal community who are adishudras or low caste by upper caste brahmins who had established themselves as gatekeepers of education and learning prasthiya <laughs> the manuskriti clearly says that it is a terrible thing for the low born to even think of reading and writing you read a thought and it burns them for all your eternity Further, she was a girl, a female, a woman. Girls were to be strictly raised as future mothers and wives, well versed in only keeping house and bearing children. To step out of the home, to read, to learn, to work outside the home, 
was strictly forbidden. So, following the rules of the society, Sabatji was married off at a very early age of nine to the thirteen-year-old Jyoti Ram Phule. This union was a beautiful stroke of luck that brought two extraordinary people together. Jyoti Ram or Jyoti Ba was a fiery young man who believed that education was key for the oppressed castes and women to rise out of the indignity and misery that society heaped upon them. Education would lead to wisdom, courage, earning, independence, and a better life for those who were downtrodden and held captive to their fate by rigid, unjust social norms. Jyoti Ba himself taught Savitri how to read, write, and think freely. Hinduism. A religion with Goddess Saraswati regarded as Goddess of Education and Learning. Didn't allow women to be educated? Saraswati wanted not only to be a good student but also a good teacher. She knew that thousands of girls like her could have their hearts and minds ignited by receiving education and become young women capable of taking independent decisions. So, after her first day with Jyoti Ba, she enrolled in two teachers' training programs and finished them successfully. Little Savitri became Savitri Bai, the first woman teacher of India. Jyoti Ba and Savitri were now ready to do something revolutionary for Indian society at that time. They wanted to open a school for girls. The obstacles were many. Educating women was considered sinful. Jyoti Ba and Savitri's family would not allow them to stay in the family town to do so. But Savitri and Jyoti Ba were determined. They chose to leave their house, took shelter with their friend Usman Sheikh and his sister Fatima. In 1848, Hidelwada, Pune, they made this dream a reality by opening a school for girls, one of the first in India. Teaching girls was a dangerous undertaking. Every day as Savitri Bai set off to the school, she was met with threats and abuses. Rocks, dung, dirt were thrown at her to stop her from her pursuit. Undaunted, she continued. She carried an extra sari, changed before classes and promptly went ahead right to teach her students. By 1852, Jyoti Ba and Savitri Bai had opened three schools with more than 150 girls enrolled and also earning scholarships for these students to encourage the parents to send their daughters to school. This was only the start of a trailblazing path forward. Over the years, Savitri Bai opened 18 schools and brought children from different castes. Opened a night school for agriculturists and labor workers. Founded a center of care for the widows and their infant children to prevent infanticide. Formed two educational trusts for the education of women and the less privileged. And chaired the Satya Shodam Samaj after Jyoti Ba Phule's death. The legacy of Savitri Bai Phule, the first teacher and feminist icon of India, Leaves, uh, lives on in every girl in India. Every time she opens a book, every time she holds a pen, and every time she raises her voice to fight for herself and others. Weak and oppressed, rise, my brother. Come out of living in slavery. Manu all our Peshwas are dead and gone. Manu is the one who barred us from education. Give us of knowledge. The Indian shall come. Learn, you have had no chance in a millennium. We teach ourselves and our children to learn. Receive knowledge and become wise to discern. Hmm, voices from the past. For such powerful voices from such women of substance. I'd like to ask you a question, Mania. Uh, are you allowed to also express yourself? I do express myself, Kalpanaka, but sometimes, you know, the voice of the community is damn powerful than us. So, so what do you do in such instances? In such instances, I get inspired by our school and uh, Parikrama teaches me to express myself more broader and wider. And it helps you to take a stand? Yeah. Good. I'm glad. That's the whole purpose of Parikrama. 
women empowerment. In addition to everything, education is empowerment, right? And women empowerment also. Uh, we have something very interesting now, and that is a presentation. And which what presentation is this going to be, uh, Tasya? This is the presentation from Parikrama Nandini Layak about Jalyan Wala Bhat, the old unsung heroes. Some more unsung heroes. You know, at Parikrama, what are the three languages we learn? English, English, English Hindi, hmm? and Kannada. And Kannada. Okay. So now, Parikrama Nandini Layak will show their skill at the language of our country and the language that they also learn in school. Jalyan Wala Bhat by Parikrama Nandini Layak. को मेरा नमस्ते मैं रीतु सुभद्र कुमारी चौहान जी के बारे में बताना चाहती हूँ सुभद्र कुमारी चौहान का जन्म 16 अगस्त सन 1904 में हुई और उनकी मृत्यु 15 फरवरी 1948 में हुई आजादी की लड़ाई में वे कई बार जेल भी जा चुके हैं झांसी की रानी और जिलियन वाला बाग में बसंत इनकी प्रसिद्ध कविताएं है इन जिलियन वाला बाग में बसंत she observes how time and the cycle of the season never stop no matter how great the tragedy there have been scores of men women children and elderly who fell to bullets or left with no choice jumped to well on the inglorious day jalia wala bag mein basant yaha ko kila nahi ka kaag hai shor machate काले काले कीट ब्रह्मर का ब्रह्म उपजाते हैं खलिया भी अधिकली मिली मिले हैं कंटक कुल से वे पौधे व पुष्प शुष्क है अथवा चुल से परिमणहीन भरा दाग सा बना पड़ा है आ यह प्यारा बाग कुल से सना पड़ा है ओ प्रिय ऋतु राज धीरे से आना यह अशोक स्थान यह मत शोर मचाना यह अशोक स्थान मत शोर मचाना कलिया भी अधिकली मिल है कंटक कुल से वे पौधे व पुष्प शुष्क है अथवा चुल से परिमल हीन बड़ा दाग सा बना पड़ा है आ यह प्यारा बाग कुल से सना पड़ा है वायु चले पर मन चाल से उसे चलाना दुख की आहे संगड़ा कर मत ले जाना दुख की आहे संगुड़ा कर मत ले जाना कोकिल गावे किंतु राग रोने का आवे भ्रमर करे गुंजार कष्ट की कथा सुनावे लाना संग पुष्प ना हो अधिक सजीले तो सुगंध भी मंद ओस से कुछ खींच खिले किंतु ना तुम उपहार भाव आकर दिखलाना समृद्धि में पूजा है तो थोड़ी बिखराना कोमल बालक मरे यहाँ गोली खाकर कोमल बालक मरे यहाँ गोली खाकर कलिया उनके लिए गिराना थोड़ी लाकर आशाओं से भरे हृदय भी छिन्न हुए हैं अपने प्रिय परिवार देश से भिन्न हुए हैं किंतु ना तुम उपहार भाव आकर दिखलाना समृद्धि में पूजा है तो यहाँ थोड़ी बिखराना कुछ कलिया अति खिली यहाँ इसलिए चढ़ाना करके उनको याद अश्रु के ओस बहाना तड़प तड़प कर वृद्ध मरे हैं गोली खाकर तड़प तड़प कर वृद्ध मरे हैं गोली खाकर शुष्क पुष्प कुछ गिरा देना तुम जाकर यह सब करना किंतु यहाँ मत शोर मचाना यह सब करना किंतु यहाँ मत शोर मचाना यह है शोक स्थान बहुत धीरे से आना यह है शोक स्थान बहुत धीरे से आना परिक्रमा के छात्रों अगर इसी तरह आपको पढ़ते ही पढ़ते ही रहेंगे तो हमको कभी नहीं हिंदी के बारे में है घबराना वेल डन Uh, you just heard one more mode of expression, right? Both of you. And now, there's, is there any question that you'd like to ask? Yeah, mm -hmm. courage, bravery, confidence, strength. We all admire these qualities, mm -hmm. isn't it, Akka? 
Of course we do. That's, that's what we do in Parigrama, right? Instill everyone with all these qualities. So, Tasya, what do you think you would like to you know, say about that? Salt match, also known as salt satyagraha, Gandhi match and Gandhi satyagraha, is an act of non-violent civil disobedience. In colonial India, led by our Mahatma Gandhi, the 24-day march lasted from 12 March 1930 to 6 April 1930. So, we are going to see Parikrama Kaurvangla with their version of the Gandhi march. Hindu, Kya Sikh, Kya Isai, Kya Musalman. 
पानी हमारा है तो नमक भी हमारा My brothers and sisters, this is the battle of right against the might. Come on, come on, come on. Let us shake the British Empire with the voices of sword. Wasn't it wonderful? Yes, sir. What we love about Parikrama: limited, ro you know, resources, limited space, but with our hearts as wide open as the sea that carries all the salt that we get. Yes, sir. And you know, we had. I mean, where other would you see the support staff of the school, parents, teachers, students, mm -hmm. and even the head of the school involved in the play? It happens only in Parikrama. Now, what else do we have planned now? Akka, mm -hmm. in expression of art, mm -hmm. I think I love music and dance. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember right. Parikrama Jayanagar is going through a course of Bhatnatyam. Now, I would like our students to perform it. Right, do you have something to say? Yes, mm -hmm. Akka. Yeah. We have had many heroes from Karnataka who played their part in the struggle for freedom. Mm -hmm. The contributions of Sangoli Rayana and Kittorani Chennama will always be remembered. So we are going to see Parikrama Centre for Learning, Jainaga with their presentation. Thank <laughs> you. 
going to see a lot of shadows now but before that i'd like to mention that in karnataka the tiger dance is mainly the domain of males but i think this is one of the first time that we've had all girls and all girl crew doing the tiger dance so a big round of applause for everyone yes you mentioned something about suns and shadows you want to say something i like the sun and shadows of mm-hmm. god i like the amazing light falling on the things mm-hmm. and Form it into this shadow. Perfect. You know that's that's the wonderful thing about India is you know we look at art and nature and everywhere we find some kind of expression or the other. So now we're going to present to you a brief skit uh, on unsung heroes of Karnataka and other places too, but through a shadow play performed by Parikrama Centre for Learning, Sakhanada. Enjoy. Kittur Rani Chennamma Kittur Chennamma the queen of Kittur was one of the first indian rulers to lead an armed rebellion against the british east india company in 1824 against the implementation of the doctrine of lapse Rani Chennamma after her husband and son's death adopted a boy Shivalingappa and made him her successor which did not go down well with the british east india company and it ordered the removal of shivalingappa by using doctrine of lapse here is 
one of the inspiring lines she said in response to the british demanding high taxes nanu kittorina rani chennamma devi kashta padabekante tappa nimage ke kodabeku tappa neeve nu namma vada kuttida vane anna tammandire nentare ishtare dayadi vane moda maresirisuttade raita bichane uttane kabbu dinalo bitta tappige koli kodabeka जय कर्नाटक माते जय भारत रानी ऑफ झांसी was the maharani concert of the maratha princely state of jhansi in 1853 the east india company applied the doctrine of lapse to annex jhansi but the rani was not ready to accept the doctrine let's declare the doctrine of lapse to jhansi and conquer it as the king does not have a natural heir yes my lord i am your lord I am here to re represent the Dalhousie. As per the doctrine, we are the port of Jhansi right now. Send the Jhansi, or else I will destroy it. I will never give up Jhansi. I will fight for our independence. We will fight for our independence from the clutches of the Britishers. Come on, brave soldiers! Let us not allow the Britishers to capture Jhansi. The Rani valiantly fought against the Britishers. She fought courageously, but she was imprisoned. One day, Rani Lakshmi Bai jumped over the wall of the fort in the dead of the night, with her baby Damodar Rao tied to her back. She then rode away to Kalpi on her favorite horse called Badal. she will always be remembered as a great martyr who laid down her life for the cause of freedom rani abakka veera rani abakka was the first tuluwa queen of ullal who fought the portuguese in the latter part of the 16th century she belonged to the chauta dynasty who ruled over parts of coastal karnataka tulu nadu the port town of ullal served as their capital The Portuguese made several attempts to capture Ullal as it was strategically placed. Abaka repulsed each of the six attacks for over four decades. For her bravery, she came to be known as Abhaya Rani, the Dangerous Queen. A total of six attacks that the Portuguese planned between 1525 and 1570 were trampled on by Rani Abaka. ನಾನು ಉಲ್ಲಾಳದ ರಾಣಿ ಅಬ್ಬಕ್ಕಾ ದೇವಿ ಹೇ ಬಿಳಿಯ ಪೋರ್ಚುಗೀಸರೇ ನೀವೆಂದಿಗೂ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಶದ ಸಂಪತ್ತನ್ನು ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮನ್ನು ಆಳಲಾರಿಗಿ ಆಳಲು ನಾನು ಬಿಡುವುದಿಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ಮ ರುಂಡಗಳನ್ನು ಚಂಡಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾರೆಯಾಗಿ ಧರಿಸುತ್ತೇನೆ ಹುಷಾರ್ ಅಲ್ಲೂರಿ ಸೀತಾರಾಮರಾಜು ಅಲ್ಲೂರಿ ಸೀತಾರಾಮರಾಜು ವಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ರೆವಲ್ಯೂಷನರಿ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ ಇಂಡಿಪೆಂಡೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೂವ್ಮೆಂಟ್ He was born in present day Andhra Pradesh in 1897 or 1898. He became a sanyasi at the age of 18. He gained a mystical aura among the hill and tribal people with his knowledge of astrology. He had a great understanding of medicine too. was nicknamed Manyam Virudu hero of the jungle by local villagers for his heroic exploits in 1924 Raju 
was taken into police custody tied to a tree and shot by public execution effectively ending the armed rebellion valiyappan ulaganada chitambaram he was also known by his initials voc he was a indian freedom fighter he was a prominent lawyer trade union leader and leader in the indian national congress in 1906 He established the Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company, which competed with the monopoly of the British Indian Steam Navigation Company, and launched the first Indian shipping service between Tuticorin and Colombo with the help of Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company. Vele 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 vele. One day, Mataram. One day, Mataram. All over the country, the more is to buy cotton British goods and services. You should stop using anything made by the British people. Yes, Bala Ganga Dhar Tilak and Lala Lakshmat Rai are the leaders of this movement, and our people are burning foreign-made goods. But we are still dependent on the East India Company and using their ships to travel to other countries. It is a shame. Can we do something about this? I'll collect funds and try to hire a ship. It will be a two-day Indian ship run by us. That way, the British will lose business and it might force them to leave our country, and we will get freedom. Yes, it's a good idea. I will join you. Me too. It's a memorial day for us. Today we are inaugurating. Swadeshi Steam Navigation Company and our prices are affordable compared to the Britishers. Please come and use our services. Kappal Okey Tamil and Malaga. Kappal Okey Tamil and Malaga. Wasn't that beautiful? It's all about light, shadows, and our emotions. And also creation, Akka. Absolutely. Now tell me, how do you how do you think y'all uh, are able to, uh, or you find ways of expression in Parikrama? Give me an example. How? Yeah. And all the, whatever you learn, okay? Besides your English and math and all, what are the other things that you do from your co-curricular? What kind of different kinds of expression do you learn? And give me an example. You know, Akka, in Parikrama Jayanagar, every Saturdays we have club activities. Ah, what is this club? Is it no Bangalore okay. club, Bowling Institute? What is it? It is a cultural and traditional club. Sir, in uh-huh. these clubs, we have many other sections like embroidery work, mm-hmm. dance, mm-hmm. cooking, cooking. Ah, that's lovely. Mm-hmm. All are Indian traditional and cultural activities. Mm-hmm. The students are allowed to choose their. Choose their tradition, the their choice. culture. It's their choice, mm-hmm. and they're allowed to do their course of three months so mm-hmm. that they can learn different things. So you learn embroidery, yes, right? And her parents also are learning it, right? Yes, so it can uh, become a source tailoring. of tailoring, right? Yeah, tailoring yeah. Class yeah. so it becomes sources of income for them. Then you have music, right? Oh, yes, From yes, Sapa, yes, right? Yes, Subramanian yeah, Arts, you know, Performing Arts, Subramanian Academy of Performing Arts. Yes. So you learn Indian music, right? You learn Indian dance. Right, I know quite a few also love Bollywood, disco, right? And then you also learn art. Yes, you have you've got so many winners. What about sports? You have something to say about sports, Manya? Yeah, go. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, participating in many sports activities mm. gives us courage to face any problems in our life. Mm. Uh, it also gives us courage to stand with our parents and. Tell them that you know this is okay. We will surpass this uh, trouble of problems. So sports is not just for stamina; it's yeah. also for your emotional, right? Emotional well-being. It also gives emotional strength and physical strength. That's lovely. You know, when we're talking about expression, right? Uh, we saw in the shadow play a little bit about Kittu Rani Chennamma, but we'd also like to show you a presentation from our Parikrama Jayanagar. That was shadow, and this is. Live performance, okay? Sangoli Raina and Kiki Raina. Are you interested in watching? Yes. 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 Let's see what's in store. Good morning. 
वाले साहेब कोई तो कोई ना विली कोई तो कल के बंदी ला ना विली बंदा तो है एडमिशन है कि साइड मारे कल ली के नहीं हो कप्पा वालों को लो दिला मत तो कंपनी आरोन से लो दिक्कत ही सुनते देरी मुझे वाय ताई आसन के बंदू ताई के चने दोस्त को भी दे नहीं रखा इली कानून मारो अधिकार आये रो दू नमक निमक ला नहीं वो निम्नस्थ के चलना था आरुति रोहिरी हे क्या करे कन्ना डिगर आमाना भी माना निन्नता हेड गेन बोलती � जीव भय अपने बड़ी जगड़े एचएनआर सुन का कटले ना ना ब्रिटिश अधिकारी केरा केरा तब नोडी था रा पढ़ा स्टोरी रही था रा कष्टा हमारी गेन हो गई तो नहीं वो अर्था मारी सी हेड अबे को रही था पी रोच्ची के तो कच्चे कटी था रे नहीं वो ले दी ला नहीं मां सरकार ने वो ले दी ला ये ना पाई था ला सोमन कुंदरे जाना मुन्ने बड़ाई Again, lovely is an adjective that I often keep repeating because I find everything so beautiful. What about you, Tasmia? It was all exciting, Akka. I was very enthusiastic from morning to see our Indian cultures. And now I think all our Parikrama students have expressed the 75 years of independence. Yes, it's about the free spirit in Parikrama, right? Uh, what's the motto of a Parikrama child? Love, explore and excel. And we do it all with responsibility, right? We learn culture. Yes. We respect not only our cultures, but cultures of other people too. After all, it's why we are citizens of, you know, we are residents of Karnataka, citizens of India, we are also global citizens, yes. right? What happens everywhere affects us too. So we do, we contribute our little mite to making the world a better place to live in. And now I call upon Shuklaka, who is doing her bit to make the world a better place to live in for the closing remarks. Over to you, Shuklaka. Okay, um, that was lovely. Uh, I really like the rendition of history in all languages because I, that's what makes uh, India. It's it's such a, a diverse country with so many um, different uh, elements, food, uh, clothes, uh, agriculture, um, nature. And yet we are all together. Uh, I what I really liked about uh, this year's um, Independence Day celebration in Parikrama was that we kind of broke stereotypes. Uh, you you could see uh, we experimented with uh, girls doing the tiger dance, um, more girls um, and women women of history and patriots being exhibited. So I think and this is the way we teach our future generation how to be inclusive, how to respect gender, how to respect equality and how to take forward uh, development in a responsible way. So I, 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 I wish although that this was a physical event uh, because nothing is as good as all gathering together and um, celebrating any any opportunity together but if it was entirely a physical event then we could not have had some of our friends 
uh, Richard, Simon, Kumar from all over the world joining in and participating. So, I mean, there is there's always a pluses and minuses to everything. But it was lovely that we actually gathered together to celebrate 75 years of free spirit that India stands for. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much. Thank you, Shuklaka. Another Independence Day. It may be 75 years for India, but for us, I think this is our 20th celebration. And as every year, and every celebration in Parikrama, we are always full of beans and find everything exciting because we look at the world with new eyes every day. So every day, we celebrate the free spirit. Uh, Shuklaka, like you mentioned, we've had uh, guests from, you know, uh, all over the world. Uh, Simon Anna from UK, big round of applause, silent applause. Then we have uh, Kumar Anna from Singapore, Richard. Richard Anna from again from UK, Prithika Murthy Akka, Sujata Akka, Bhaskar Anna from Hyderabad, and Vaishali Akka, and Vijay, Vijay Anna, Vijay Dar Anna. In addition to all the parents, Poshikra in India, login already program stage program we are also we are also very grateful for all the you know the heads of all the school and the staff of all the school, whether it's the teachers, the support staff, or you know the head. Everyone pitched in to make this event. So, like Akashiklaka mentioned, online was a challenge to be able to get that real emotion coming through was a challenge, but we did it to our best. Thank you all the schools and the junior college for the wonderful presence. Then a very special welcome to a very special guest. Netra Akka of Saraswati Memorial Trust, who is with, here, with us here in person to participate in our celebrations. Thank you, Akka. In fact, she is right here in this control room to ensure that you are saying the right things. Then, a big thank you to our uh, team, the crew. Mahesh, I can't say Anna because he's a student, okay? Mahesh, Akash, then uh, Stalin, Chandru, for all the tech support, everyone. And especially the art teachers who fished in with very short notice. And to my fellow compeers today, it's such it's so good, you know, to have your students compeering with you. It makes you feel really, really good. Manya, thank you very much, my child. She's in grade 10 now, right? Yeah, grade 10 at Paritama Center for the Jenaga. Shagufta, you're in grade 8, right? Thank you, Shagufta. And Tasmia, who's also in grade 8. Thank you for doing a wonderful job hosting and all of you now please do stay back at your respective schools you'll be given sweets enjoy the sweets enjoy your snack and then go thank you for being with us 75th independence day i request all of you to please rise and join us for the national anthem Ganamana Adina Yaka Jayahe Bharata Bhagya Vidhata Punjab Sindhu Gujarat Maratha Ravida Putkada Vanga Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga Uchala Jaladhita Ranga Tava Shubha Name Jage Tava Shubha Aashish Maage Gahe Tava Jaya Gatha Jana Gana Mangala Dayak Jaya He Bharat Bhagya Vibhata Jaya He Jaya He Jaya He Jaya 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 He